welcome back with another video lecture semen analysis in this video lecture we will discuss physical chemical and microscopic examination of semen in detail let's start the lecture what is seminal fluid seminal fluid or thick white sticky fluid containing spermatozoa that are ejaculated by male genital tract this semen contain 10% spermatozoa and 90% secretion of accessory glands and these 90% secretion 60% secretions are from seminal vesicle 25% secretions from prostate gland and 5% from bulbourethral glands now why semen analysis test is done semen analysis is carried out to determine whether a reproductive problem that causing male infertility or a vasectomy or vasectomy reversal has been successful or not where vasectomy is a surgical procedure procedure for male sterility or contraception semen analysis is a singular test for infertility in male that can provide information on sperm production potency of the male duct and function of accessory glands since semen samples are very day to day hence two to three samples are evaluated within three to six months of period once after collecting the semen sample receiving time is noted down the sample has to be liquefied for 20 to 30 minutes by placing the sample it heating block or it incubator at 37 degrees centigrade after liquefaction mix the sample homogeneously by using transfer pipette the sample volume viscosity and ph should be noted here are some terminologies that are used in semen analysis test number one is oligospermia when the volume of the semen is less than 15 million per ml we call it oligospermia then azospermia when there is no spermatozoa in the semen we call it azospermia next is hypospermia when the semen volume is less than 1.5 ml we call it hypospermia next is hyperspermia when the semen volume is greater than 4.5 ml next is aspermia when semen have no volume next is hematospermia when rbc's present in semen we call it hematospermia next is necrozoospermia when dead spermatozoa are present in high concentration in semen now semen collection a good and reliable result of semen analysis start from semen collection so for semen collection masturbation is directed to collect semen sample while doing masturbation avoid to use lubricants that is soap or any other detergents that kill spermatozoa another way to collect semen sample is coitus by using a special condom that contains silicone and silicone condom does not contain anything that kills sperm cell so they are not spermicide for best sample two to five days sexual abstinence abstinence is necessary also pass urine before sample collection first proper wash your hand with soap and let it dry then collect the sample in a sterile container also keep the sample at body temperature and do not expose to the sunlight deliver the sample within one hour after ejaculation to lab or as soon as possible then we have macroscopic or physical examination of semen analysis they include color the normal color of semen is gray white 
when the semen sample have RBCs or red blood cells then the color appear red brown or pink the semen color also change when a person uses drugs vitamins or in case of jaundice and urine in semen the sample will appear yellow the presence of gross macroscopic particles or debris should be noted then we have pH pH is measured by litmus paper or combi 3 sticks the secretions of the prostate and seminal vesicle contribute to seminal pH the normal pH of semen is 7.2 to 7.8 when the pH is acidic it is less than 7.0 acidic pH occur in a low volume and density sample usually which show bilateral absence of was difference and ejaculatory duct obstruction pH increases with time as natural buffering capacity of semen decrease therefore high pH is not clinically useful abnormal pH may indicative of secondary sex gland dysfunction also next parameter is liquefaction liquefaction is the breakdown of gel portion of seminal fluid semen or normally ejaculated is coagulum and are required 20 to 30 minutes for liquefaction non liquefied semen may indicate prostatic dysfunction or lack of prostate protease enzyme then we have viscosity of the semen semen viscosity is estimated after liquefaction so how will we measure the viscosity aspirate the semen sample by this plastic paper or dropper if the viscosity is normal it will produce normal discrete drop if the viscosity is increased or having abnormal viscosity it will produce long thread greater than 2 cm by this way we check semen viscosity now microscopic examination of semen the first parameter in microscopic examination is sperm count for sperm count a microscope 10x lens should be used for counting place a drop of sample into Merkel chamber and count the sperm heads in 10 square just like we count TLC so this number represent concentration of spermatozoa in millions per ml when the sample is oligozoospermia then we count all the 10 squares have by adding 50 to that number then you will get concentration of spermatozoa next is motility we have different categories of motility which are progressive motility immotility necrospermia progressive motility or active spermatozoa those spermatozoa moving actively forward rapid like guided missile immotility spermatozoa without movement or we can say sluggish spermatozoa necrospermia or dead spermatozoa when sperm cells are dead we call it necrospermia if there is no spermatozoa then scan the whole slide if there are any active sluggish or dead spermatozoa are visible if no sperm then we add f10 media and centrifuge the sample at 1500 rpm for 10 minutes then examine it 40x lens of microscope if the sample is azospermia advice for semen fructose test to verify the integrity of waste difference and seminal vesicle in case of presence of sperm sample should be examined to determine motility classification aggregation and 
agglutination during microscopic examination sometime we see aggregation of spermatozoa where aggregation is the adherence of immotile spermatozoa to each other or we can say adherence of motile spermatozoa to non-sperm elements like mucus epithelial or any other debris sometime the cause of aggregation is accessory gland infection next is agglutination agglutination of spermatozoa are observed in semen analysis sometime so what is agglutination when the motile spermatozoa stick to each other we called it agglutination it may be head to head tail to tail mid piece to mid piece or mixed next is sperm cell morphology when a drop of sample is placed on slide and view under light microscope with a magnification of 40x where normal sperm appear like that having smooth oval shape head acrosome which are well defined and cover 40 to 60 percent of the sperm cell head normal sperm have no defect in the neck region or in the tail while abnormal spermatozoa have defect in head for example detached head large head small head elongated vaculated irregular amorphal, uh, amorphous small acrosome or no acrosomes they may have defect in neck region asymmetric bent neck thin neck thick neck irregular or cytoplasmic droplet present in it abnormal spermatozoa also have defect in tail that is coil tail short tail hair pin tail broken tail duplicate etc at last we made semen analysis report that include physical examination and their parameter chemical examination and microscopic examination thanks for watching subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming latest videos